All right. I want to start by asking you to come on a journey with me, a journey to a different reality, a reality of six and nine-year-old children. And yes, I am that guy forcing you to look at pictures of my kids, and I haven't even had anything to drink. So the reality that they live in is one that augmented reality and virtual reality are everyday realities. They live in a a world where 20 billion things are connected, talking to each other, working with each other, and solving problems. They live in a world where we shifted from this idea that robots are mechanical muscles to this idea that bots, which are like robots that live inside your computer, are mechanical minds. Watching my kids interact with these mechanical minds has led me to understand that they're just as comfortable interacting with humans as they are with machines. And they're just as comfortable learning aside these mechanical minds as they are with humans. And they're learning in ways that have never before been possible. So this stuff is being woven into our our lives so seamlessly we don't even know it's there unless we look because it just works. So it makes me wonder, how do I teach them how to be human? Where do I fit in my kids' reality when things that I thought only I could do and teach them and help them with, they're able to do on their own with the aid of these mechanical minds? I've also been struggling with How do I show them how to use these mechanical minds to protect things that we value like education, healthcare, clean air, clean water, equality? So I'm working on what it means to be a parent in this reality today. So let me give you an example of an aha moment I had two weeks ago. I was leading a parent workshop called Parenting in the Digital Age. And one woman raised her hand and she said, I hate football. And I was like, oh, here we go. But she said, you know, I hate football, but I spend three to four hours every weekend standing on the side of a pitch showing my child that I value what he values. And I'm like, okay. And then she said, when was the last time I spent three to four hours sitting alongside my son while he was on the iPad, while he was sitting at the computer, learning about his reality, and how he was interacting with these mechanical minds. So it was kind of an aha moment for me. So it made me think, how do I drop these preconceptions I have about how kids, what kids are doing and how they're interacting with these things? How do I stop acting on assumptions and how do I stop dismissing things just because I don't understand them? So I've come to the realization that I don't have any answers, but I owe it to my children to understand that it will be different, and I have to work to learn alongside them as a parent and as an educator. So, that leads me to the conference theme, reimagine. So, (laughs) we did this thing the other day where I made everybody say what reimagine meant to them, so I'm not going to force you to do that. But I want you to think about, as you... (laughs) As you work through this conference and as you engage with the sessions and other people, think about what does it mean to reimagine education in today's world. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Ms. Matz. Yeah, 